some audio checks, and then we'll start the game. Just want to make sure everything's good. You want to... I got some, uh... I said about it on Twitter, but I got some some sounds to try out with uh, hotkeys and keyboard. So, I want to see how well those work. Then we'll get going. I said about it on Twitter, but I got some sounds. Just sounds like I need to increase the mic volume a little bit. Not. No, no, no. I got some really fun ones. Oh, good, they work. Alright. Alright, we're good. Let's go. What's up, guys? It's Bangus! And we're, uh, we're gonna play some more Trauma Center. Let's go. Oh, and I got a nice big, nice big glass of water. Although I actually kind of low. Get some water in a little bit. <clears throat> so I shouldn't have talking issues this time, but we'll see what happens, I guess. Nunchuck style. For the greater good, Hope Hospital, room 207. Thank you so much, doctor. It just hurt so badly, I thought I was a goner. Well, appendicitis is a fairly common condition. But congratulations on your recovery, Mr. Sasano. If my wife gets sick, I'll make sure you're the one operating on her. <laughs> well, it would probably be better if she didn't sick at all. I guess it's true. <laughs> Talking with the patients is one of my favorite parts of the job. Could I really leave that behind? Derek, we'll be starting the Operation Breeding soon. Okay. Mitral prolapse and regurgitation. Mitral prolapse. Mitral, mitral. Since complications may arise, it is necessary to replace the valve with a synthetic one. Okay. Today, you will be operating on Eliza Chalk, Chalk who's in our in our pediatric ward. She's a very young child with a valvular heart disease. It was a tough decision, but her parents finally decided to go ahead with the procedure. There's only one main objective for this operation. Replace a valve in her heart with a synthetic one. We'll use the, a triple incision to excise the valve, cut three times. You'll need to be as cautious as possible, understand? Technology has made a lot of situations much easier for us. But heart surgery will always rely on a skillful doctor. Angie, keep an eye on the oscillograph to aid Dr. Styles. I understand. Don't let the gravity of this operation intimidate you. The conference is over. She's in your hands now, Derek. Let's begin. Let's begin the operation. Alright, let's go, guys. 
Our report details frequent occurrences of light arrhythmia. Be ready for the unexpected just in case. Let's begin. Let's begin. Put her open. But the electrocardiogram is showing an abnormality. She's suffering ventricle fibrillation! I'll attempt to stop the convulsions. Three, two, one, clear! Vitals She's are flatlining. We need a ball squiggly. Oop, too much. Oop, too much again. Oh, come on! Hurry, doctor! You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. The patient was born with a highly irregular heartbeat. There's a good chance her heart will continue to go into convulsions. I'll stand by with the defibrillator in case we need to use it again. Gosh, I hope not. That's awful. If that happens, you'll need to recover her pulse as quickly as possible. The defibrillator may have a high success rate, but allowing the heart to flatline repeatedly is obviously very dangerous for the patient. Yes. Yes, it will be. Make sure you revive her right away if that happens. Doctor! Oh, stop it. Gonna inject her with the magic green life juice. Come on! Doctor. <sighs> that was so bad. Let's begin the valve procedure. We'll excise it in three stages. But before that, we'll need to drain this blood. Vitals are critical. Oh, bullshit. Come on! There. Proceed as normal. How is it not going in enough? Meanwhile, Derek Styles just stood there like an idiot. Wow. That fucking time, dude. Doctor! What the hell? Suture! Operation was a success. That's all that matters. Now she can play all day with all of her friends. Let's close the incision. <laughs> Poor 
poor girl. She's too young to go through something like this. Having someone cut open your chest is so unnatural. But something in that little heart refused to give up. Maybe it sounds silly, but I keep thinking about it. Nice work, Dr. Styles. The human body is truly amazing. Gosh, that was awful. Man. Whew. I don't know what's going on. It wouldn't... Ugh. That was bad. That was bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's a fair rank. That's a fair rank. I did get ghouls, though. I don't know what to It's my daughter. Oh, nice to be all right. The operation was a success. She'll need about two months to fully recover before she can go back to school. But after that, she'll be as good as new. That's good news. Oh, well, thank you so much, Doctor. People are always worried about heart surgery, especially on children. But modern medicine allows us to treat such conditions with much greater success than 10, even just five years ago. Young patients like your daughter face very little risk of permanent physical damage. To be honest, I'm more worried about psychological stress operations like this might have on small children. <laughs> Please take good care for her during her recovery. Oh, of course. Alessa, we love you so much. Modern medicine. Is that it? <laughs> Very sorry. Modern medicine just hasn't advanced enough to treat a disease like this. I have my condolences. Mom, why are you crying? That's okay, right? It's gonna get better, right? But why is it that getting better? You can fix it! You just cry! He's my dad! I'm sorry, son. No doctor in the world could save your father from this. Things have come a long way. Dr. Hoffman, I'm going to accept the offer from Caduceus. So you're willing to throw away your own happiness for this? I know about what happened to you in the past. I know that having superior skills will only create more pressure to succeed. And everyone will expect me to have answers nobody else has. I'm sure those are valid concerns. And the path I've chosen will probably cause me a lot of pain. But I became a doctor so that nobody would have to die from an incurable disease. Not ever again. Mm. Diseases are painful. And losing someone to a disease is even more painful. It's hard for doctors to tell people their loved ones can't be cured. I'm gonna make sure they won't have to. Caduceus has already found ways to save thousands of people. If I can somehow help them find cures for incurable diseases, then I'll accept that responsibility. I'm joining Caduceus! You can't stop me, Dad. Chapter 3. So I looked it up. There are five, there are six chapters total. Uh, five of them are main storyline ones and then there's a sixth one with uh with him and the chick from the side stories and then there's a side story for each of the main things so this actually shouldn't be too long of a game it should be maybe like one or two more episodes of this um all right let's continue Ugh. being the lady whose voice i forgot how to do old st brooks hospital Number Z2 Miracle. Old St. Brooks Hospital. Oh. Eh. This one has a tumor on his large intestine, so we need you to remove it. I should warn you that this particular tumor is very delicate. Be careful when you take it out. He contracted it during early research stage, so I'm afraid it's rather advanced now. I don't think he has much chance of survival. Of course, it would be better not to lose him. This is why they want you to try. I'd ask, I'd ask what all this research was for, but I know I won't get a real answer. Four cases in the past month. Is it just me, or are you guys having some trouble lately? These people aren't afraid to die. There's no need to waste your sympathy on the choices made. Don't worry about me. Sympathy isn't an emotion I feel much anymore. Patients exist so that I can save them. It's as simple as that. 
think you'll need to use the healing touch on this case. Would you have even called me if it was that serious? Without patients like this, I'd never be able to practice my true medical talents. Let's get this over with. Bring him in. Well, shit, if we're doing it. Oh, my. Alright, we'll, we'll try to use the healing touch. It didn't go great last time, but we'll see. <sighs> the anesthesia is proceeding well, so I should be able to start on schedule. Looks like I only have one objective. Attract any tumors in the patient's large intestine. Simple enough. Though this can't be this though this can't be a normal tumor if they needed to get me involved. I don't know what they've got inside him, so I'll need to keep an eye on those files. Of course, if anything goes wrong, I still have that to fall back on. I'm ready. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's have a look at this tumor. You are kidding. This isn't a normal tumor. I need to sever the three veins supporting this tumor before I can excise it. I begin by draining the cytoplasm. Next. About those veins. Good. Vitals could be better. Is like, That's two. That's the second vein. It's a small tumor spawning. Next. Next. Nope. <gasps> what the? What the hell? This doesn't make sense. Trusted an outside diagnosis? Now I'm paying the price. I hope it's not too late. No! Why does it keep regenerating? I start over from the beginning by severing the veins. Vitals up. Wait, he got the ten. He didn't go to zero. Yeah, Weaver. We'll just have to get one of our doctors to take a look at him. Don't look good, though. Why don't you go wait in the other room? Even though she had been stripped of her medical license in Japan, Doctor Weaver could always depend on her ability to save lives. However, when she failed to save a patient, she lost faith in herself and everything she believed in. I'm gonna rewatch the bot. Oh wow. <laughs> Okay, so I, I watched the, I got the VOD up on the sex screen and I watched what happened. I, uh, <laughs> I destroyed that guy with the laser. Dang. I didn't realize I was hitting that bad. And, and never perform surgery again. Dang. Alright. Well, we'll move on that one. It's alright. I'm trying. Blah, 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 blah. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's have a look at this tumor. Hmm. Next. Good.
vitals up. I got the vitals, lady. Chill. Once. Okay. Well, you have a choice. Or took away my life. But it's the reason I'm here. So I guess that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I just had to do everything all at once, rather than do one at a time. Yeah! Max chain of over 60. Definitely no mistakes that time. Yeah. Steam Surgeon. I'm a boss, lady. Amazing as always. You can expect another glowing report. It's a shame someone with you, someone with your skills, can't practice them out in the open. Medical society just isn't ready for someone who can manipulate energy the way you do. Then again, how many people could there possibly be with special powers like that? We don't usually talk this much afterward. <laughs> ha! Pardon me. I didn't mean anything by it. Oh, it's fine. I'm just used to you being all business. That's what I meant. Let me know when you're transfer pay the payment to my account. Double check, huh? You're as pragmatic as always. A girl has to make a living, doesn't she? Money's about the only thing that ability of mine is worth these days. Depressing as this. I understand. You'll be contacted as soon as the transaction is complete, but don't forget. We are the ones who transferred you to an American hospital when you lost your license. Without us, you would have a new name. You wouldn't have a new life, Dr. Kimishima. Trust me, nobody understands my position better than I do. You fixed my broken wings, and I'm willing to repay that favor, no matter what it costs. I know who my friends are. Glad to hear it. Well then, come with me. I'll be escorting you home, as always. Ba -ba 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 -boop. All right, I need some water. Should be dirt. First day with Cadelius. Are you worried? I wouldn't say worried. We're down one doctor and one assistant. It won't be easy to operate with two of our best people. 
Derek has potential, but he's far from perfect. I wasn't about to send him to Caduceus without an assistant he's comfortable with. Besides, Caduceus is supposed to help us find replacements now. I see. Still, I didn't expect Stylus to be the selfless humanitarian type. Do you think he'll be able to handle the pressure? I suppose we'll find out. He's going to be surprised. I didn't get a chance to tell him about Sydney. Who's Sydney? Caduceus. Caduceus, an international organization seeking to eradicate disease. Caduceus USA is the American branch. There are additional branches in Europe and Japan. The U.S. branch specializes in researching anti-infection measures. It was originally established in 1980 as a top-secret offshoot of HHS, the Department of Health and Human Services. Once the organization went international, the central agency was renamed Caduceus USA. They are authorized to act on their own outside of government protocols. Wow, that's... that's not sketchy at all. Damn. I'm glad this doesn't exist, probably. Probably doesn't exist. Dark styles you make in now. Hello. Hello. Huh? Welcome to Caduceus USA, Derek. It's nice to meet you. I'm Sidney Castle, the Director of U.S. Operations. My brother's told me a lot about you. I'm glad you decided to accept our offer. Sidney Castle, age 35, Chief Director of Caduceus. He dedicated his life to the study of clinical medicine after his wife died of a tragic illness. Oh, yeah. I think Dr. Castle mentioned having a brother. Uh, I mean, it was an honor to even be considered in this position. Andrew Thompson, would you come in as well? Yes, sir. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, too. You're young, but I hear you're hardworking and sharp as a tack. Look forward to seeing what you both can do here at Canutis. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. The Secretary of Health and Human Services should be here shortly. When I told him we're both coming today, he insisted on stopping by. He's in charge around here, so I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot of him. Right this way, Mr. Secretary. Congratulations, Derek, Angie. I'm Richard Anderson. Well, perhaps it would be more appropriate to thank the both of you. Richard Anderson, current Secretary of Health and Human Services. After a long career in politics, he became the Executive Director of Gooseus. Thank you for accepting such a dangerous job. I'm told that operating on guilt puts a surgeon at risk, too. We still have no idea who's responsible for spreading it. Hmm. But from what I hear about you two, you're up for the task. Scientific advances, DNA treatments, changing social environments. We live in challenging times, and it's our responsibility to research and develop treatments that ensure the stability of world health. What all this means is, I'm pleased to have you both on board. Hope you'll do your best and take your work seriously. Yes, sir. Caduceus USA Conference Room. This is Dr. Clark's resident surgical expert. Oh, I wouldn't say expert. There's always room for improvement. Stephen Clark, age 42, Caduceus' chief surgeon. He has a wife and kids. His kind demeanor has been a blessing and comfort to many patients. This dude looks like me. Not gonna lie. A little bit. A little bit. Not too, not too much. Nice to meet you. I'm Stephen Clarks. Nice to meet you, Dr. Clarks. This is our anesthesiologist, Dr. How many fucking voices do I have to come up with? Holy crap. Dr. Myers. The name's... The name's... Nice to meet you. Sybil Myers, a well-respected anesthesiology specialist. She used to be a police officer but left the force to practice medicine. She's intelligent and very spirited. She's kept her old nickname from the force, Iron Vixen. What? You're from Hope Hospital, right? Isn't that Greg Castle's office? Do you know him? We went to med school together. He's helped me in a lot of ways. 
I'm actually the only person here who Sydney who knew Sydney was his younger brother. Anyway, if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. Of course, it's nice to meet you. Some of our staff are here today, so you'll have to meet them later. Think this will make our workload? Doubt it. Have you taken a look at the list of incoming patients? <sighs> oh well. Have you guys been working with a lot of patients here? The public is aware of this yet, but we're on the verge of an outbreak. Congress recently voted in favor of giving us a budget increase, but that won't be good enough. At any rate, we won't need you to start treating patients until tomorrow. So for today, let's um, let's get all that paperwork out of the way. Sounds good. Sheesh, who filling out employment forms could be so tiring, right? It's awful. It's pretty late. Yeah. Hey, why'd you come to Caduceus anyway? Does it matter? Uh, well, I was just curious why you decided to join too. Dr. Cattle recommended me. That's not what I meant. Before, it seemed like you knew something about guilt, so... Does it have anything to do with your father's disappearance? Not really. Boilers. Caduceus has the newest technology and research material. I wanted to be here on the front line of modern medicine. So soon as you wanted to become a master surgeon. I wanted to be a master assistant. That's really all there is to it. I guess that makes sense. We'll work hard together. The potassium chloride's ready, so we increase the sedative. Huh? It sounds like someone's on the phone. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Derek? Sorry, gotta run. Yeah, I'll get back to you, dude. Beep. No way. Tyler? No way, no way! You seriously work here now?! Tyler Chase, the surgeon at Caduceus. He went to school with Derek. Tyler's very optimistic and tries to keep everyone in a good mood. <laughs> yeah, I, I started the day. I must say, it's very much a pleasure to meet your gorgeous assistant. M my name's Angie Thompson. Nice to meet you. Man, I heard him say the new guy's name is Styles, but this rocks! I didn't think you were adventurous enough to... Adventurous enough to join Caduceus. And, I mean, you weren't exactly an A student, man. But everyone here's been hyping you up as a highly skilled surgeon. Get out of here, you can't. Stop it. Hey, listen up. Ah, come here. Ah. It'll take two seconds. I'm gonna show off the little kid again. Oh, you sad. You saying words. You went down. Yeah, you do. Now you come here. You go in and attack on my controller stuff. You're gonna get shown on camera. This is Pepper. She's a little kitty. She's only a couple months old. We got her maybe two weeks ago or so. She's very sad about being picked up. She does not want to be picked up. Meow. You're okay. You're gonna be a turd and go after my stuff. You're gonna have to get picked up. That's just all there is to it. That's just all there is to it, little cat. Meow. I'm putting you down. There you go. Play. No, not with that. Okay. Yeah, go on. Alright. That's enough of that. Uh, you know what? Since we're... Since I'm paused, I'm gonna get some water real quick. I'll be right back. Now a good time.
We're full up. I'm gonna spill it all over myself. And we'll get back to it. How many more freaking characters are there gonna be? I didn't know there was gonna be like a million of them. For fuck's sake. Alright, I think that's the last that's the last guy that's on the No it's not. Alright, so the box has uh has the new guy on it. And like all these other characters. I'm running out of voices. There's like an old man up here. Uh, I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing this for... Unless there's a game with like five characters or something. I could do like five. We'll do like five. But, but the, I'm not doing this 20 character bullshit again. Like, this is... This is dumb. Like, this is dumb! How many characters? Gosh. Alright. Some good yummy water. Okay. All right. But everyone here's been hyping you up as a highly skilled surgeon. Well, what? Nobody told me anything about that. I don't want people expecting too much from me right away. Well, you have a pretty good track record so far, Doctor Styles. People can change a lot in three years, you know? What about you? You were probably one of the top five in our class. I guess you can see for yourself, huh? Good luck, man. We ought to throw you a party or something. See ya. I can't believe Tyler works here. Oh, sorry. Tyler's a friend of mine from med school. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. He was the professor's favorite, so I guess he. Uh, so I guess I assumed he'd still be taking classes. Potassium chloride, huh? I wonder if he's doing animal testing. Bum 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 bum. Guilt. Several guilt victims are currently hospitalized here at Confucius. We obviously need to treat them ASAP, but we don't know how. So at the moment, we're trying to slow the disease's progression. I had a lot of trouble operating on guilt as well. Today's mission is similar to your previous experience with guilt. I watched the video footage of your surgery at Hope, but... You moved so quickly, I couldn't tell what was going on. I'm looking forward to seeing you in action today. Let's see what you've got, buddy! I don't need any more pressure, thanks. Dr. Myers will handle the anesthesia. No problem. Myers is a tough chick, Derek. If you screw this up, don't expect her to ever work with you again. Stop trying to scare the newbie, Chase. This is a difficult operation, and we don't have room for any mistakes. Just do your best, and... <laughs> you, you got it. <sighs> Positive chiral reaction. Kiriaki bodies detected Kiriaki. Immediate removal is required to prevent further complications. I'll be briefing you on the procedures of this operation. Today's patient is a guilt victim who was brought here three days ago. Derek, you've actually operated on this exact strain already. It was called Kiriaki, wasn't it? Correct. This guilt hides inside organs while attacking their tissue. Removing it, however, should be just like removing a parasite. It wasn't a simple case to evaluate your abilities. There's only one objective in this procedure. Remove the karaoke. I'll leave exact details of the operation to your discretion. Show us your talent, Dr. Stubbs. Yes, sir. Let's begin okay, the operation. let's begin the operation.
This is the same strain of guilt Linda Reed at Hope Hospital contracted. Let's, Let's begin. Zigzags. Okay. Doctor. Great work. It's over, Derek. The chiral reaction is negative. Let's treat those last few wounds and close them up. Stop it. You were testing for chirality? We were, Angie. It's very absurd of you. Guilt creates cells with an unnatural chirality. Using the Chiron test, we can detect the specific wavelength they emit. So far, that's the only way to reliably distinguish guilt. Remind me to give you the Chiron test equipment later. Sorry I wasted all that time, Derek. Finish by suturing the incision. Excellent work. You can see why my brother recommended you. Oh yeah, look at that score. That's right. Unbelievable. He's still gonna let us learn, but that was incredible. Styles finished 30 minutes earlier than we estimated. Hopefully the patient will recover quickly as well. <laughs> Looks like times have changed. The darkness was in. This is a speak bowl. Let's get some water real quick. The pee so bad. Ugh. Hey Tyler, you around? Could he be? I didn't think he had any patience today. Huh? Is this a new thesis? I guess he still finds time for academics after all. Netherlands, Utrecht, Utrecht, euthanasia. Why would he keep a euthanasia thesis in his files? 
Oh, they're still there. Why would you not keep euthanasia? Like, it's still a medical thing. Like, you still gotta... Ugh! Anyway. Oh, there's a letter. Thank you, Doctor. Because of you, my husband finally found peace. What the? We'll bring it up at the next comfort, then. Crap, he's coming. Where do I put these? Hey, what's happening, Derek? Did you need help with something? Uh, I, uh, was just coming in to ask you about something. That's not how he said this. Uh, I, uh, was just coming in to ask you about something. It was, uh, oh, right. Medication for the guilt patients. Post-op medication? Hmm. As far as I know, there hasn't been any. Hmm. <sighs> oh, well, okay. If you don't know, then I'll just... Sorry to bother you. See you later, okay? Wait, Derek. The meaning to show you something. You would have found out about it sooner or later anyway. What? I, I swear I didn't... Follow me. Recovery Ward, room 305. Hey, Tyler. How are you doing, Amy? Not so good. Oh, that sucks. Sorry I made you get up. Derek, this is my sister, Amy. She's been hospitalized here for two years. You mean she's infected with guilt? Yeah. His condition is the reason I came here in the first place. Amy, this is Derek Styles. He's an old friend of mine. He's gonna be treating you, so go easy on him, okay? <laughs> okay. How did... Do you come to examine her again, Dr. Chase? Leslie Sears, age 26, one of the many nurses on staff at Caduceus. She currently looks after several guilt patients, including Amy Chase. Nah, I just came to see how my little sis was holding up. Oh, I see. Amy hasn't been doing her homework lately. I was actually hoping you could talk to her about that. But it's so boring! Sis, if you slack off, then you'll end up dumb like your big brother. You want people to know how smart you are, don't you? Think about it, okay? Anyway, big bro's gotta run, but I'll visit you again tomorrow. You must be going through a lot, Tyler. Yeah, I guess it's payback for what I've been doing, huh? Huh? Look, dude, I know you saw the paper, my paper in that letter. I've been practicing euthanasia ever since I graduated. That's my deep, dark secret. I had heard rumors, but I never thought the death doctor could be someone like you. Why would you do that? One of the professors I had before we met died of cancer. It was already too late when they found it. Professor Boncha told them that himself. All he had left to look forward to were a few weeks of suffering and painful treatments. Good people shouldn't have to go through pain like that before they die. So I gave him the gift of a painless death. But that's... Of course people would prefer to live. It's only natural. But if everything causes pain, and there's no chance of recovery, then are you really living? No. You're just sticking around so other people don't feel bad. That isn't true. Uh, it kind of is. It kind of is. kind of true. I know it's naive, but I knew there might be consequences when I started doing it. You probably think it's just suicide, or worse, murder. But things are different now. I have to be there for Amy. You're gonna turn me in? I'm just waiting until Amy's gone, okay? You aren't doing that to Amy. I won't let you. Hmm? I need some more water. Ugh. Something precious. It's time to operate on Amy, I think. Let's go. Yeah. 
Doctor, quickly! Amy's condition is getting worse! Her vessels are dropping and she's losing consciousness! What? Everyone, prepare for surgery! Angie, bring in the patient! I'll meet you in the OR. Hurry! Yes, sir! Tyler, this is an emergency. Come on, hurry! Hmm. What are you doing? Let's go! You can't operate on What? I have to! Haven't you seen the PED results? Guilt's already migrated. Her respiratory system's in trouble, and her digestive tract is next. What are we supposed to do? Are you just going to watch her die? Do you have any idea how many things we've tried? Dr. Clark couldn't help, and he's the best there is! All he could do is thin out some of the tumors. I just watched her get weaker, day by day. Amy doesn't have a lot of time left. What are we supposed to do? I'll tell you. We're supposed to leave her alone so she doesn't have to suffer. Do you really think cutting her open again and again is going to do anything? So what? You want us to watch guilt tear her apart? You don't get it! She doesn't need to go through all this suffering. Even if this operation helps, she might never open her eyes again. She'll just be connected to some machine, waiting to die. If that's the case, then I'd rather send her off myself. You call yourself a doctor?! I'm Amy's brother before I'm a doctor! You think I'm gonna watch my sister suffer just because that's my job?! I don't care if I lose my license. We're talking about my sister! What are you still doing here? Hurry up! Got him, Angie. Mm. Dr. Clarks. We may not be able to operate. What? The guilt's in her lungs. It moved a lot faster than they expected. And I'm afraid she's not strong enough to survive the surgery. What if we separate the operation into two procedures? No good. If we don't extract the guilt entirely, we'll be right back where we start. Now do you get it, Eric? This is how it always works. I always knew it would come to some doubt. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> I always knew it would come down to something like this. I'll operate on her. She'll be okay if we can extract all of it, right? Leave her alone, you bastard! With a healing touch, it might be possible. <gasps> Tyler! Amy! Tyler, please do the operation! I know you can hear us. Aren't you scared? No, I'll be fine. You work so hard to become a doctor. I'm going to try hard, too. I'm glad that you're a good doctor. I thought I was doing what the best for Amy, but I was just a coward. I didn't even consider what she wanted. Derek, can you handle this operation for me? I don't deserve the tutter, not with these hands. I joined Caduceus so I can help people. What are you about? What, blah, blah. what about you, Dr. Chase? Can we do everything we can if it might save a person's life? Yeah. Dr. Chase, please bring. Fuck, man. Dr. Chase, please brief Dr. Styles on Death Terra strain of guilt. Yeah, no problem. Be in there, sis. We'll be right back. Car reaction positive. Death Terra bodies detected. Death Terra. Deaf Terra bodies detected. Complete removal from the stomach and lungs is required. Deaf Terra is basically a tumor, a really gnarly one. It replicates its DNA while actively moving throughout the body. A tumor then moves? That's impossible! Well, to be fair, moving is kind of a bad way to describe it. It copies itself to other locations, so it just looks like it's moving. Basically, it keeps on replicating its DNA and creating new tumors. That's horrible! Good news, though. We might just know its weak point. What is it? Deftera comes in two flavors. 
We'll call them Type A and Type B. Type A's and Type B's like to eat each other up when they meet. But they're both equally strong, so they kind of just stall there. And if they're not moving, they're just like any old tumor, right? So, after we drain the kid's tissue, we can just excise it. Hopefully. I mean, this is all theoretical. One wrong move and they multiply, so there's no room for trial and error. It's not like we could safely test the theory before trying it. But, you have the healing touch. I've seen you use it, man. It's amazing. If anyone can save me now, it's you. I don't need to tell you the objective of this operation, do I? But you're gonna do it anyway. Remove the guilt from the patient's stomach and lungs. That's all. Just save her, man. All that stuff I said before, just forget. Please, Derek. I won't give up. I understand, Tyler. There is much time. Doctor. Proceed as normal. Our data indicates the Defterra could appear at any time. When the Defterra combined to form a tumor, use the drain to remove them. That's the plan. Are you ready? We've located the guilt. Defterra! Doctor! Car reaction decreasing. Continue the drainage. We'll begin to excise it soon, I hope. Doctor! Hurry! Titles dropping! Amazing! Good news. You did, it, Doctor. He's going to be okay. It's a miracle. We'll move to the lungs next. We're counting on you, Dr. Styles. Come on, Derek. Save my little sister. We can do this. What the hell happened? This is really bad. I'll take over from here, Dr. Styles. Derek, I'm not blaming you for this. But I told you before, there are people who need doctors like me. And trying to give them hope only increases their suffering. Bitch, what the fuck happened? When they went, they joined together. It ah oh man, that's so dumb. All right, I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Ugh, that's so dumb. I had that.
truck. Yeah. is dropping.
Bubu. We can do this. Are you kidding me? What the hell? That's so dumb. I ignored the man. This is fucking stupid. I guess they. I guess they need me to do the stupid slow down mechanic. It's just dumb. So fast. Uh. Won't give up. There isn't much time. can do this. Alright. Serious time now. is dropping. The cover reaction is 
is negative. Our mission is negative. The operation was successful. Sorry, good work, Doctor. Good work. Thanks, Derek. Thank you so much. You are a real doctor, dude. I respect that. We should have a smooth, painless recovery. Derek, I owe you, man. How can I ever pay you for all this? What happened? Like, how? I see! Fuck you, man. Derek, it's your decision, man. If you want to turn me in, do it. I'll resign if that's what it takes. I don't care. I'm just glad he's okay. Thanks, Derek. I want you to do me a favor. Be a good doctor forever! And that'll be payment enough. Huh? Read it that thesis you wrote and offer it to Caduceus. You feeling okay, dude? <laughs> Tyler, you've always been good at writing detailed papers. Despite how you used the research, your thesis was no exception. Eliminating pain and suffering, facing death, doctors and patients can benefit, can both benefit from your research. Find a way to use that information to save people's lives. That's all I ask. <gasps> no problem. You got it, bro. You got it, bro! Nope, that's it. Like... You got it, bro. <laughs> I did the diarrhea. Oh, there you are. And he's going to awake soon. Let's go check on her then. What do you think, big brother? H hey! Don't call me that. Uh, garbage chapter. International conference. Great. More talking. Let's take a swig of, of pea juice. Uh, uh. Stop it. Yeah, normal difficulty. I don't know. That was weird. Oh, I hope there's not more more characters. Excuse me, sir. You called for me? This operation is amazing. Your focus and concentration is simply unbelievable. Is that the video of our guilt procedure the other day? I have my secretary transfer it to an HDV media card. Watching this in slow motion actually reveals quite a bit. You didn't use your power at all. What a badass you are! Thank you! Anyway, have a seat. There's an event I'd like you to attend. Hmm? Okay. <sighs> Fuck me. Alright. Hey, real fast. I need your signature for this. Victor, we're in the middle of a meeting. Yeah, well, this'll only take a sec. Victor Niguel, age 26, head of the Caduceus Research Division. He's responsible for a lot of the organization's proprietary medical technology. This is that proposal we went over yesterday. There are no changes. Huh? Who's the new guy? This is Derek Stiles from Hope Hospital. He's hardly new. You need to get out of that laboratory more often. Oh, he's that healing touch guy. I'm Victor from R&D. How's it going? It's going well. Nice to meet you. How's this, Victor? Well, good to me. Okay, later. Sorry, Victor doesn't concern himself with trivial concepts like manners. I apologize for the interruption. Let's discuss your trip. Our international conference will be held in Angeles Bay this month. Topics will focus on the recent issue of medical terrorism. Dr. Stiles, I'd like you to attend as a representative of Caduceus USA. I'd also like for you to speak about the strains of guilt you treated and the steps involved. Can you do that? 
Well, I haven't really been here that long. I'm sure some of the others could do a better job. We're also showing footage of your operations. I prefer that you were there to explain the procedures step by step. Dr. Myers will be going, so I'll ask her to translate for you as well. Have fun, Derek. <sighs> Ow. Alright. Angela Bay Conference Center. Once again, that was Star to Style, speaking on behalf of Caduceus USA. Yay! I'm glad that's over. Thanks for your help, Dr. Myers. No problem. I think the video footage really got their attention. You could have looked up a little out there, though. You're not used to speaking in front of groups like that, are you? I'm usually too busy just helping patients. Even if I had time for meetings, I'd probably just fall asleep. So yeah, that was my first presentation. Yeah, a lot of doctors are that way. But you should still make time to attend conferences. The only way to keep up with the latest technology, you know? Being a doctor is like being a lifelong student. Dr. Cass used to say the same thing. All doctors are students. Good old Greg, huh? Now he was one hell of a public speaker. He was confident, threw in some jokes, never had stage fright. I remember staying up all night helping make slides. <coughs> never mind. That's all in the past now, isn't it? Sounds like you guys were close. <laughs> it wasn't like that. He's a great guy, so I always did what I could to help out. Really? What's that supposed to mean? Hear that? I think they're starting the next presentation. That well, concludes the disease treatment workshop. Next, we'll have a debate on the fight against medical terrorism. Speaking on this topic is Langston Miller, director of Caduceus Europe. I received this report a few hours ago. I hope it finds you well. As we all know, medical terrorism poses a serious threat to all world citizens. Reports of guilt have doubled in the past year alone. Unfortunately, the motivation behind this epidemic is still unknown. But we have received confirmation that the group responsible calls themselves Delphi. Delphi? The Greek Oracle? The messages we've received from them have been cryptic at best. Their philosophy demands are still a <laughs> their philosophy and demands are still a mystery. Are they related to other terrorist cells? We don't have an answer. For all we know, they could be nothing more than a fanatical cult. But whoever they are, we know that they're hostile and organized. We believe there may be additional clues hidden in the strange letters that arrived shortly before each guilt operation. We received one of those at Hope Hospital. Medicine has advanced quickly since the advent of genetic engineering. But as guilt has shown us, disease can evolve just as quickly. The ramifications of medical terrorism are grave indeed. And it's going to take our best minds to devise a way to stop it. Though we may finally have somewhere for them to start looking. We've received letters of an abandoned Delphi research facility. It seems they entered a small African village, possibly posing as the NPO. I'm afraid they were using the townspeople to develop guilt. Bastards town was destroyed and their facility has long since been abandoned. But I'm sure there's something there that could lead us to Delphi. I propose that Caduceus send a research team to Africa. Supplies and manpower will need to be approved by each division. I hope to have everyone's sincere cooperation in this matter. An explosive patient! No, it's <laughs> I've got to write down which buttons do what. Oh, I wanted to do this one. I think it's this one. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. <laughs> Man, it's 
talk about long speeches. Well, a lot happened over the last year, so I was expecting that. I will not enjoy writing the summary report, though. Huh? Lights! What? What happened? What's going on here? The shutters are dropping. Is there a fire? Your doctors and your temporary cures are worthless. If you would all just die, maybe people could finally stop living unnatural lives. What? What the hell? Oh, that's a sign. Don't touch it! It's a bomb! There's a bomb! Oh! A uh, bomb? Come on, Sybil. We have to get out of here. Damn it, there's no way out. We're going to die! Somebody help us! Sounds like it's over here. So, sounds like it's over here. Follow me, Dr. Styles. What? But that's where the bomb is. Exactly. What are you going to do? We have to run. There's nowhere to go, but... I told you to follow me! If we're going to die anyway, what difference does this make? Be a man! Yes, ma'am. It's time to operate a bomb. You're going to dismantle bomb. I'll assist you. What? I can't do that. So you'd rather nothing? You're gonna sit here and cry for help like everyone else? Screw that. If this doesn't work, at least we can say we tried. I'm ready. Give us some room! Put a barricade with the desks and tables! Everyone take cover! Okay, Dr. Styles. There's no turning back now. It's a bomb. Blindly cutting at it would be extremely bad. Cross your fingers and listen to Dr. Myers. I think everyone's clear. Enough. Okay, you'll need to follow my instructions carefully. Got it? Aren't you scared? Of course. But why should a doctor be afraid? I'm sure you've been in worse situations than this. We hold patients' lives in the palm of our hands, you know. One mistake, and you have to watch them die. What could be more fitting than that? Uh, I guess. You're really brave, Dr. Myers. Ha! They don't call me the Iron Vixen for nothing. That's what Tyler said. He comes up with some weird nicknames. Actually, that started back during my days on the police force. I was in the crime lab, you know. Even though I was just a novice investigator, I was still stronger than all guys. <laughs> so, you were really a police officer? Man, it is so nice that this bomb is letting them talk forever. That's right. And I did it a guy on Bomb Squad. So trust me on this one. Let's okay, begin dismantling the bomb. Let's begin dismantling the bomb. I dated a guy, so uh, I know how to dismantle bombs. That's how that works. Now we can't afford to waste any time. Good thing we talked for ten minutes. Let's do this. Kit has been constructed without opening the lid. Four screws holding the lid in place. Your scalpel should do the trick. Right or left? Time for the that unscrew clock plays. Keep that in mind. Panel with beam lights and screws that won't turn. Hmm, okay. These screws are all different. They unscrew in different directions. Try turning in the wrong direction, one of these lights turns on. Just that once all the lights are activated, boom, more history. Essentially, this panel is telling us how many misses were allowed. Looks like we only have room for two more mistakes. I assume they built this in to frighten us, so we'd be unable to defuse bomb. Prepare for the worst. Let's concentrate on getting through this. Okay, so, left. That's one. One down, you know what to do. Come on. You see something in the lower right corner, Derek. Magnify it so we can take a closer look. What's this? Oh. What the hell? 
anything to do with moving those screws. Is this what I think it is? Huh? Can you recognize it? Listen to me, Derek. These hexagonal panels can be destroyed with your circle laser. But you cannot touch the panels that are lit up. But, uh, all panels are lit up, aren't they? If we can stabilize the voltage at a certain level, it should be more, it should be more clear to you. Luckily, I think we can do just that. I'm impressed, Dr. Myers. You must have learned a lot on the force. Let's just say criminal investigators have strange lunchroom conversations. If I remember correctly, it should be here. This is it. A voltage re regulation device. By changing those plugs, you can adjust the voltage. I'd suggest using your forceps. The line you're aiming for is right here. yourself. Press it in. Good work. Voltage is different now. So I'm going to plug it until we got it where we want it. Insert the plugs. Yes, I'm aware. Come on. Don't let go of it. Fucking gosh. Thank you. Oh, goodness. There we go. 
It's gonna look at those panels now. Okay, it's not perfect, but we should be able to destroy those panels now. You ready? We'll destroy the unlit panels. Good work. Here comes the regulation core. And this is basically the center of the bomb. If we activate this, the bomb is useless. Use your laser to destroy it. Huh? Hurry! Aim for the regulation core and nothing else. We're almost done, Eric. Oh, fuck. Wait, I gotta. Oh my gosh, I gotta start over for that? That is some bullshit. the bomb. Oh, so I to talk to us during this. Ready to go? Right or left? That's one. Two down. We only have one more. the next one. Derek? 
Pull the torgers up. Pass it in. Good work. Changed right when I shot at it. That's so dumb. Let's begin dismantling the bump. Press it in. Good work. What the hell? It was not that hard last night. It was... <sighs> Let's begin dismantling the bomb. yourself. Press it in. Good work. You're doing fine. Okay, let's get done. Good work. Don't do that. What? Oh, my. 
God, it changed, right? Okay, that's, that is some bullshit right there. That's some fucking bullshit. All right, I gotta pee. I gotta pee and I gotta calm down. That was, oh man. Oh man! That was crap! yourself. Oh. Press it in. No. Yes. Good work. You're doing fine. All right. Okay. Let's get it done. All right. Let's take our time this time.
This game is seriously getting me angry. I don't. I need to, I need to watch the. I need to watch the bottom of that real quick. Hold on. I need to watch what happens. Okay, so laser. Laser. Yeah, fine, 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 fine. Oh my gosh, that's such bull! Wow! Wow! That game's. Uh, this game cheats! Let's begin dismantling the arm. Man, what a. Oh! Oh! Come on, game. Toward yourself. Press it in. 
Get it done. Turning the screws the wrong way. Two down. We only have one more. Now for the next one. Derek. Oh. yourself. Press it in. Good work. You're doing fine. Oh. Get down! Come on! Let's begin to 
dismantling the bomb. Ready to go? Right or left? That's one. Two down. We only have one more. Now for the next one. yourself. Press it in. Good work. You're doing fine. Okay, let's get it done. All right. There isn't much time. Hurry. Phew, we should be safe now. Glad that's over. Th talk about your bad patience, huh? Oh, man. Oh, I'm dizzy. I can't feel my hands. I know how you feel, Derek. I know how you feel. Fuck! At least we're alive, right? It's better than dying any day. Of course. I knew we'd be fine. It was just a bomb. No big deal. The Iron Vixen, huh? That nickname of hers is starting to make sense. The lights are coming back on. We should tell the others it's okay. We stopped the bomb, everyone. It's all clear now. Great job there, Styles. You definitely learned from Greg. <laughs> Same to you, Dr. Myers. You're pretty tough. Woo! What? Let's hear from Dr. Styles! <sighs> Crap, what was his voice? <coughs> I believe we found the perfect candidate for the effort mission. I don't remember what his voice was. Fuck you! Ugh. Ugh.
Footfalls of Terror, Episode 7. We received a letter of thanks from the conference directors. I was worried when I heard about the attack. I'm glad you both made it out safely. It's all thanks to Dr. Myers. <laughs> She's definitely the toughest woman in medicine today. You should ask her about some of her adventures on the police force sometime. Ah, Chief, Derek's going to take you seriously. He has good reason to. Oh, that's right. There was one other message I received. Dark Styles, Caduceus International has requested your presence as part of the research team headed to Delphi, to the Delphi Div- Bleh. To the- Bleh. Hey, let go. Let go. No. 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 Get out of here. What do you think you're doing, little cat? You're silly. The research team headed to the Delphi facility in Africa. They asked for me? That seems like a mistake. Don't be modest. We've all seen what you're capable of. You have experience treating guilt, and you defuse a bomb. Langston Miller, director of Caduceus Europe, was very impressed. And the rest of the committee voted unanimously. You should be proud. Yeah, but I've never left the country before. Well, you don't have much choice. I already accepted on your behalf. Thanks, boss! Give it up, Styles. Once Sydney decides on something, there's no arguing with him. Looks like you're going to Africa. I <laughs> didn't realize he could be so stubborn. I guess he's always been difficult. That's what Greg told me anyway. I remember him talking about the arguments they'd been into when they were kids. The only reason Sydney went to school overseas was supposedly because everyone told him not to. Dr. Castle could be stubborn sometimes, but never anything like that. At any rate, have fun in Africa. As long as your partner's liable, I know you'll be fine. Partner? <laughs> Snake's on a plane! Caduceus on a plane! Snake's Caduceus. Caduceus Snake's on a plane. Ugh. Take two seconds. Breathe. Ugh. Okay. All right. Sneaks on a plane. Let's go. International air. Woo! Look at that guy fly. Dang. International Flight 326, destination Africa. Run, 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 run away from you. There's just so much and never more could ever do. I've touched the rains down in Africa. Oh, Africa. Remorse far away. I mean. Three transfers and 33 hours of total travel time? Wow. At least they're used to it. What? Who the hell is used to that? What are you talking about, Derek? I've never been to Mexico, and I don't like flying. Remember to drink plenty of fluids and get periodically and get up uh, and get up periodically to stretch your legs. It wouldn't look very good for a doctor to get sent to the hospital for blood clots. It'll be hot in Africa, too. Try not to get heat stroke. I hope getting vaccinated for the endemic diseases was enough. Our turn, please. Is there a doctor on the plane? I repeat, are there any doctors on this flight? One of the passengers is sick. We don't know how to treat him. If you have any medical training, please notify a flight attendant. Doctor! So much for sleeping on the lane. Medical games on motorcycles on airplanes. Edema of the lungs has worsened, causing respiratory failure. Food must be drained from the lungs to secure the respiratory tract. It looks like respiratory failure. Yes! From what his wife explained, he'd been suffering from an edema of lungs. His prescribed medication, which stabilized the condition. They were given permission to return home, but stress from traveling may have aggravated the symptoms. 
doctor recommended immediate lobectomy to drain the pleural fluids. We're going to perform surgery mid-fight? The captain has allowed us use of the crew cabin. Sterilized gowns and operation tools have been prepared as well. Boy, that's lucky. We really don't have a choice. Once we land, we he can receive more permanent treatment. But for now, we have one objective. Drain pleural fluid from inside the patient's lungs. Use ultrasound to find where fluid has accumulated and drain it. Understood. Let's hurry. Starting the operation. Let's begin the operation. Unfortunately, Doctor, there's a storm up ahead. They're going to try to avoid turbulence as much as possible. Is he going to shake while I'm butting into him? But this is far from an ideal operating environment. Let's try to let the shaking distract you, Doctor, so they're going to shake the body. They're going to shake the body on me. In this one. Are you fucking serious? This is very serious. Respiratory failure is serious. We need to finish this quickly. Try using the ultrasound. Get ready for drainage. Make an incision and... Doctor. A lot more fluid here than there should be. Drain it immediately. Treatment complete. Careful. Ink! Vitals dropping. What? Yo! I was using ultrasound! How did that happen? You gotta be kidding me! That was an ultra. Wow. Alright, I guess I can't do anything at all while he's shaking. Ultrasound should have been fine. That's... How did an ultrasound do that? How does an ultrasound do that? I don't understand! Alright. Fine. Starting the operation. No ultrasounds while we're, while we're turbulenting. Got it. That's so dumb. Let's begin. This game cheats! Ba -da -da -da. Treatment complete. Careful. Eek! You have to be Sterilize. careful. If it's starting again, it could cause a lot of problems. Yeah! Might need to stop operating temporarily until it lets up. Turbulence made all that fluid stop. That's good. Whoops. Sorry about the laser, dude. Stop it! Doctor! 
Where's the Doctor? Vital strong. Oh, come on! Whatever. Okay. No, close them up. We need for additional support. Oh, Derek died forever. The end. Oh, that's such bull crap. Wasn't even. Ugh, so stupid. Ugh, this is dumb. Let's begin. Doctor. Treatment complete. Careful. I didn't do anything. What a relief. Ah, patient's breathing is stabilized. He should be okay for now. Let's finish up the treatment. Deep breath. I guess we did it. Oh, they're applauding. Don't let it clear your head, Dr. Styles. You can save this man. But don't let it stroke your ego too much. You're not that great. Information remained below six. What's that mean? Whatever. I think you'll be okay. 
A contact at a hospital near Rubora. We can take him there once we land. Doctors really are on call 24-7, aren't they? Yes, that's how hospitals work. Good job, Derek. Ugh. This game cheats so bad. Southern Africa. Just kidding. Rubora. Remains of Rubora, Zimbabwe. We're finally here! The sky's so clear. Mm, breathe that fresh air. Breathe in that air. And it's deserted. I think we're looking at the results of a guilt outbreak. Oh, I wish we weren't so far away from home. Hey, don't talk like that. Or... Who's that? A new voice. Oh. And finally, night... It's, it's finally like, it's, it's finally. Man, I do not remember how I had this voice. It's finally nice to meet you, Dr. Siles. Oh, Director Miller, sir. This is Mr. Miller from Caduceus Europe. Right, he's the one who assigned you to this mission. I was getting worried you were a little late. You see, one of our coordinators is sick, and we don't know exactly where the research lab is. There's been a lot to worry about. Sir, I have an update. We searched sectors B2 through 4, but could not locate the target. Hmm. In that case, expand your search into the sea areas as well. Yes, sir. The jungle makes a bird's eye search impossible. We've tried to narrow it down back home. We still have a lot of ground to cover. What jungle? What jungle? You're in a field! It must be frustrating. I have a bad feeling about this. You might as well join the search. Report back if you manage to find a thing. Here's a map of the area. We've sent teams out here and here. What kind of map is this? I can't make out any landmarks or anything. Well, let's get started, I guess. Six long hours later. Are you alright, miss? I'm glad we can drive with this jeep. Sure is a bumpy ride. Well, there aren't any roads in this area, but at least we're not in the jungle. It's been a long time. Let's head back to camp for a breather. I didn't mean... Huh? Stop the jeep! There's someone in the house! It's a little kid. I thought they said the area was abandoned. One hour after that. The boy answers to Reuben, we think. Nice to meet you, Reuben. Nod. What was he doing in there? I think he used to live there. The family actually lived not far from here. Shouldn't we take him home? Perhaps, but... The boy seems to know the location of the research lab. Apparently his brother worked there. Ruben got tagged along once or twice. It's more of a lead than we've found out... It's more of a lead than we've found out here thus far, don't you agree? Dots. It's as good as any... It, it's, it's as good a plan as any. Thank you, Ruben. Tip, found it. Abandoned Delphi Reach Club. As we thought, it's completely right. What exactly are we looking for? Let me take some samples from the walls and floor, just in case. I keep going away. We'll need to undergo decontamination procedures after this, but hopefully we'll find something to make it worthwhile. This is no place for a child, I'm afraid. Could you wait outside? No. That's a good lad. There's a good lad. <sighs> Cross your fingers, yes? Pandora's box.
After all that, we still haven't learned anything about Alpha. The African guilt victims are being transferred to Caduceus Europe, right? Hopefully it will lead to something. Yeah, this was also tiring. Director Miller is late. I wonder who he's speaking to on the radio. What is it? The boy. Ruben's been infected by guilt. What? How? Car reaction positive, an infection detected. Extreme care is necessary during treatment. The boy's chiral results just came back. He tested positive for guilt. The spectral analysis indicates this is a different strain. An unknown, an unknown guilt. We found an abnormality near his pancreas, but that's all. His vitals are drawing quickly. If we tried to reach the hospital, he would probably die on the way. I think we should open him up and do what we can, but it's your call, Dr. Styles. I understand. We can't just stand here and watch him die. Let's begin. I'll do my best. seems to be modeled after our treatment. Those thorns are releasing high frequency waves to essentially petrify these organs. Dr. Styles, we need to try removing them all at once. There has to be some pattern to it. Keep an eye on the membrane. Serious decline in his vitals. Possible to take that one out. What about that one? Like the two wedges are connected. Ugly style drain it.
have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I don't understand what I was supposed to be doing there. I don't get it. Or like... Let's begin. Like it replicates when there's stuff next to it. Well, it's all next to it. Like, what am I... Let's try. begin. Oh my fucking gosh, stop it. Decrease me. Proceed as normal. The hot reaction is negative. Amazing. You really can operate successfully against the ghost. Sir, you said you were surprised. They knew about something? I'm afraid this guilt has arrived from one of my country's past sins. As I said earlier, we were trying to create a treatment for cancer using high frequency vibrations, but. There were complications. Our treatment couldn't differ any between cancerous cells and healthy tissue, but it simply attacked them both. 
We wanted a way to help them all, but we found a way to kill them instead. Apparently, Delphi found out about it. That's what I know. It's told that the patient, Ruben, should be fine now. It seems that guilt is no match for you. That's right, I'm guilt free. Nice work, Dr. Stout. <coughs> I'd say you've more than earned your place in Deuceus. I would hope so. At this point. Funny how she only just now decided that I felt more capable of doing it. Rank C! Dots. Try not to move, okay, Ruben? You're going to be all right. Your mother's waiting just over there, so you'll be able to see her soon, okay? Director Miller might be able to send him back to England for further treatment. Maybe we should ask him. No, there's a cross outpost in the next town over. I think it's best to keep his treatment local to avoid any complications. Dots. A gift for us? But isn't this your book? Can we accept this, Dr. Styles? He wants us to, I think. Huh? Wait, this isn't a book. It's a file folder. It's in some kind of code, but... Yeah, read this part. Guilt. His brother must have given it to him. Thank you, Ruben. This is going to save a lot of people. Dots. Happy Dots. Dr. Styles. There you are. Director Miller, we have good news. Ruben gave us this. That can wait. We just received an urgent telegram from America. Urgent? I wonder. <gasps> no way. What's wrong? Dr. Castle from Hope Hospital was just admitted to Caduceus, USA. Caduceus? Don't tell me he... Dr. Castle's been infected by a new strain of guilt. All right, I'm gonna do this extra chapter and then we're done. I'm tired of playing this game. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, that's only 9.30. All right, I'll, I'll take like a five minute break to eat something and get up and stretch. Mountain Pass. What's this? He still followed us. I thought we'd be able to lose him on this mountain road. He did come all the way from Japan. Would you want to leave empty-handed? Damn report will do anything for a scoop. He probably wants to build his career on the remains of the Devil Doctor. It isn't often the Japanese medical board expels a doctor for having magical powers. Or maybe he wants to get under that lab coat of yours and start some rumors of his own. You're disgusting. What makes you think it's me he's after, anyway? Maybe he stumbled onto your organization. They have a presence in Japan, don't they? Considering all your activity, Lily. If anybody had found out about us, I'd know. If it's alright with you, I'll leave this situation call for a little more speed. Deja vu! I've been in this place before! Are you sure he's a reporter? He could be working for the government. The FBI would be so obvious. The clear he has no idea what he's doing. I've had training, but he's going to get himself killed if he keeps driving like that. Look out! There's a car ahead! I know that. Bouncy drivers. Damn it! Sorry, I got Damn it! That idiot ran, in, ran right into the wall! Go back! You don't think you're going to save him, do you? It's his own fault this happened. Besides, pulling him out of that wreck would be a pain in the ass. Swear words! And how do you think his newspaper will treat this story if he dies? I'm already in enough trouble as it is. Doctors. This would have been a lot easier if you didn't have a conscience. We're getting the hell out of here if he's already back. 
We're getting the hell out of here if he's already black tagged. Understand? So trauma and lacerations have occurred. Maybe an abnormality in patient's abdomen because of all these poor resources are far from it. It's too dark to see. We'll need to get him over in front of our headlights. Here, help me pull him out of the wreckage. No good. His leg is stuck. Guess I don't have a choice. I'll have to treat him here. Can you even do that? I wish he was in a better position, but that shouldn't cause too many problems. If you have any suggestions about getting some light over here, I'm all ears. I think we're in trouble. The crash shorted out the tunnel's electrical system. With him on that side of the wreck, my headlights won't be able to do much either. Necessity's the mother of invention. Headlight? You've gotta be kidding! Nope. And you're gonna be holding it. Just shine it where I tell you, okay? Most of the trauma is here. I don't like the looks of his abdomen either. Sigh. Tonight's abdominal surgery will have two objectives. Extract any foreign objects, suture any lacerations. Given the situation, that's about all we can do for him. Here goes. May as well get started. Here goes. Pew pew. Here goes. Oh, uh, excuse me. Confirm the patient's condition first, but I guess I have to make do with a pen light. Mm. Let there be light. I need to investigate the affected area. Confirm the affected area. I think I'm treating laceration on the right. Ready. Do you think you're sure it's shining in the right place? Assistant, what do you need? Shine this light where I tell you. There's not a room, but it should be workable as long as you hold this instead. Get those vitals up. External trauma is concerned. Think of what well things considered. Next, I need to find out what happened to his abdomen. But first, we're gonna shoot him up with our magic seaweed juice.
badass. Finish treating his wounds. You've got to be kidding me. That's the last time I ever have to operate the park. Better be. That actually went. That was actually kind of fun. I like that mechanic. That was interesting. Flash used two times or less. No mistakes. Fuck you. That's an A. He's stable enough. Call for rescue. Hey, you weren't half bad as an assistant. Yeah. Well. I don't intend to make a habit of it. Let's get out of here. The last thing we need to do right now is play 20 questions. Let me drive. That'll put me in a good mood. Hope under attack. Alright, so... 43. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna call it... Some fun mechanics, some straight up bullshit. Uh, but overall, you know, it's it's going. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, let's turn that off. Uh, yeah. So I'll catch you guys next time. I'll see if I can maybe do this again tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Uh, either way, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.